Hi beautiful people, my name is Mark and I love making things sweet and on style. So for today, I'm going to share with you a very easy and very happy flower. It is a sugar dahlia. So you see, there are so many petals and the good thing is it's non-wired. So I'm going to share with you all my techniques. But before that, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share to get updates on anything and everything creative. So what are we waiting for? Let's start! Okay, so now we'll be making our dahlia flower. To start off, you need a base for your flower. So this is 2 cm. It's made out of gum paste and I dried this overnight, okay? So you see that? It's rock hard. And then we need to get our paste. So I have your color yellow gum paste. Okay, so we'll be using cutter number one and cutter number two. So for cutter number one, the measurement, this is two centimeter exact. And then cutter number two, this is 2.5 centimeter, okay? So you need to cut 35 pieces of cutter number one. And then for cutter number two, you need to cut 15 pieces, okay? And we need to roll out our paste as thin as we can. So we dab our cornstarch, okay? And then we start rolling. It should be really, really thin. Okay. Just roll it out. The thinner, the better, okay? Because the petals is all non-wired, okay? So you see that? It's very thin. So we have to cut 35 pieces of this size, okay? So 35 of cutter number 1 and then cutter number 2, we need to cut 15 pieces. But you can add more depending on how full or big you want your flower to be but this is just my standard number okay 35 and then 15 pieces so out of the 35 the five pieces of this one what you need to do you need to cut it in half okay so if you have a scissor or a pizza cutter you just need to cut this in half okay so the five pieces from the 35 you need to cut in half okay and then We'll start thinning out the petals more and I'll show you how to vein. Okay, so now we will thin out more and vein our petals. So to start off, we'll start with a smaller petal, okay? So you have your foam pad, dab cornstarch, okay? And using your medium-sized wall tool, gently push going outwards, okay? Just like that. Then you need to get your veiner. Okay, and then you just need to press this on our veiner. Just like that. Okay, and then you put this back inside the container so it won't dry out. And then we have another small petal, the one that we cut in half. Okay, so what you need to do, gently you need to roll out the edge, okay, to make it longer and thinner. And then you put this two on your veiner, okay? And then gently press, okay? So you need to do this on all the five petals that you will cut in half. So total, you'll have 10 pieces of this smaller petal in half, okay? And then for the bigger size petal, same procedure. All you need to do is to expand and thin out more the petal, Okay, just like that. And then we need to press it on our veiner, okay? Just like so. And then after that, it's all on the Tupperware, so we will assemble on our center in a few minutes. Okay, so right now we will assemble the first smaller petals on our base, okay? So we'll be using edible glue. 
So, you need to dab out the excess on your hands. Okay, so first we get one petal. Okay, you need to put glue all over. And just need to stick it on our base. Okay, just like so. You can actually pinch it a little bit to make it realistic. Okay, just like that. And you get another one. Okay, and then we... So, there's no specific pattern because you just need to cover the entire ball with all these smaller petals, okay? Put glue all over. See that? Okay. This is the main center of our dahlia. So, I'm just adding glue. Okay, see that? Okay. So it won't focus. I'll bend it a little bit. Okay, there you have it. So again, put glue all over. So just continue adding and adding more petals until all the small petals are covering the ball and then we will assemble the next layer of petals, okay? Okay, so as you see here, uh, we already have a bud. So, we covered the entire base and the ball with the smaller petals that we cut in half. So, this is all 10 pieces. So, if you plan to make only a bud, you finish it like this and then you need to put the calyx already or the sepal, okay? So what we're making is a full flower, so we'll add the second layers. So on the smaller petals, you need to get at least five pieces first, okay? So what you'll do, again, you need to get edible glue, okay? Dab out the excess on your hands. So we will put glue on a V motion, okay? Just like so. And then gently fold it a little bit, just like that, okay? And then you need to put glue again on this side, and then we need to stick it on our base, okay? Just like that. So this will mimic the petals that are just about to bloom, okay? See that? So you need to press it hard there. Okay, so you need to do it on all the petals. Okay, so put glue first. Just gently bend. Okay, just like so. It's as if you're folding a shawarma or taco shell. And then put it here. Okay, so there's no specific pattern. Just go where you feel the petals should be. Okay, so... You need to put it all around and then we'll go to the next petals, okay? Okay, so here we are done adding the second layer of petals, okay? See that? The one that we twisted like a shawarma or taco shell. So now we'll be adding all the other petals. We'll start with the small, small ones, okay, that we still have left. So what you need to do, okay, so I'll take out at least three pieces first okay so we will put edible glue on a v motion okay so put edible glue on a v motion on the bottom part so what you will do you need to hold it as if you're holding a taco shell and just place it underneath okay like that and then pinch where the glue is okay and then you can actually pinch the petals to create movement okay so we do the same. So for this one, the pattern is a crisscross motion, okay? So you have here one, you need to add here two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight. And then after that, all the spaces in between, you need to fill with petals. And then the next one, the next set is also the same, okay? Just a crisscross motion. So since I added here, I'll add another one here, okay? So add and then pinch, okay? About the level, it's the same level, okay? 
pinch a little bit and then move your petals just like so okay see that and then i'll get the other one okay so i'll add edible glue on a letter d motion okay since i added here one two i'll add here okay and then just press it in just like so okay so i need to continue adding petals more and more until all is complete okay so it should be at the same level so sometimes if you find it hard to stick petals this way you can actually flip it over and stick petals the other way around okay okay so here you'll see i already completed the crisscross motion so there are still spaces you need to do the same process okay so we're, we're still at the smaller petal so again, put glue on a V-motion. And then what you want to do is to fill in the spaces, okay? So again, fold and then insert and press, okay? So when you're pressing, you're actually pinching it, okay? So you see that? See the difference? Okay. See that? Okay, so I just pinched here. And then I pinched the petals more. Okay, so continue. Just add more petals, okay? So again, still on a crisscross motion. Just like so. If you find it hard to stick this way, you can actually flip it over. Okay, so just continue adding and adding petal until you finish all the small petals and then we'll proceed with the bigger ones. Okay, so here you will see that we are actually done adding all the smaller petals, okay? See that? So if you want it this way, this is actually okay. You can use this already for your cake, but I still wanted to add more petals. So we still have large petals and there is still some space, okay? So same procedure, okay? This is one of your bigger petals. You put edible glue on a V-motion, okay? Same procedure, and then hold it like a taco shell, and then place it underneath, and then press. Okay, so you see that? See the difference? Okay, so you need to do all the same with all the bigger petals, okay? And remember to pinch it here at the back so it stays upright, okay? Even if you shake this, the petals won't fall. So you need to stick all the bigger petals until everything is completely finished and then later we will dust the flower okay okay so here i have a perfect example of the dahlia okay so you see that so we're almost done adding all the petals so you have to look at your flower always on the upper view for you to see where you need to add more petals okay because we still have some more so you will see that this part is okay, but this part is lacking a little bit, okay? So we'll add more petals here, and then after that, we are done. So you have to lay it like this. You need to hang it so that it would dry completely beautiful, okay? Okay, so now we are completely done with our dahlia flower. So you see, I'll flip it over. So this is what it looks like see that it's so pretty so we need to let this dry hanging okay so you need to hang it over so that once it's dried it's gonna look like this and then we'll start adding some more details and then we will dust our very pretty dahlia flower okay okay so here's our finished dahlia flower so since it's all dry we just need to just add some details by dusting in color orange or color pink. So for today, we're using orange. Okay, so you just see that. So just need to add some orange hues on some parts, not all. Okay, to make it look more natural and more real. Okay, so there you have it. We're done. This is our very easy non-wired Dahlia flower. Okay, see that? So pretty.